<laughs> G'day folks, I'm Mick from Sale from Iron Man 4x4. Let's discuss the controversial subject of bull bars, underbody plates, side steps, battery equipment, canopies, roof racks, sliding systems, water storage, additional fuel, everything that can be done. Dun, dun, da, dun, dun. Good day, folks. I'm Mick, and welcome to another Iron Man 4x4 Tech Talk video. This morning, we are answering some more readers' questions. Love getting them, love answering them. Please keep them coming. As always, the names have been changed to protect the innocent. This is another question from John. John writes to us a hell of a lot. John says, which is better, wider tires or narrow tires? Well, uh, very good question. And some of the off-road gurus uh, have varying opinions on this very subject. I always go for wider tires because 100% of the time they just look better. However, uh, I do know, I'm clever enough to know that that's not always the best option. And if you go online and you have a look at what four-wheel drive, very experienced four-wheel drive people are saying, they generally tend to go for narrower tires. And there's a couple of very good reasons for this. First and foremost, a narrower tire has a narrower cross section and a narrower tread patch on the terrain you're covering and it, it equates to lower rolling resistance. Now, rolling resistance is the resistance that the tire has when you're traversing whatever terrain you're traversing. And the higher the rolling resistance, the harder your engine has to work to push your vehicle to overcome the rolling resistance. So the lower the rolling resistance, the easier you are going to cover terrain. This is especially true in sand and mud, uh, and maybe less so in rocky conditions. Uh, on a tar road, rolling resistance equates to higher fuel consumption, um, but not as it's not as critical as when you're off-roading where the terrain is um, sand or mud or rocks. Bear in mind that when we're off-roading, we want to increase the size of the tire's contact patch with the terrain that you're covering. We do this by deflating the tire. And when you deflate the tire, you may increase the width of this contact patch ever so slightly, uh, but that's not where you get the increase from. The increase comes from the length of the tire patch. So, you know, wider tire, narrower tire, you're going to get an increase in the tire patch due to the growth in the length. There are some folks who reckon that narrower tires are better for mud driving because the narrower tire allows you to cut through the mud. Uh, I haven't experienced this personally. I tend to avoid muddy conditions as much as I possibly can. It makes sense from, uh, from one point of view, I can see where they're coming from, but it would depend entirely on what type of mud it is, how deep it is, uh, how heavy your vehicle is. So it won't work in all conditions. Another advantage of narrower tires is they tend to be lighter than wider tires with the same diameter. Um, tires are part of the unsprung weight on the vehicle. So the less weight you have bouncing around underneath the suspension of the vehicle, the better for ride quality. And then last but not least, and I have this from personal experience, wider tires tend to aquaplane in wet and watery conditions on tar roads far easier than what narrower tires do. And that is definitely a safety issue. So in conclusion, it would seem that narrow tires are better than wider tires, especially when off-roading. Folks, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell because we will be doing more of these Tech Talk videos. Take care. We'll see you next time.